Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where normally we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I was messing around with some of my old OpenGL uh, programs I'd made a long time ago, and it turned out it was really hard to get everything set up on, on uh, Xcode, and there are also a bunch of things where it's hard to Google because uh, there's 10 years worth of, of different... Uh, uh, results and if you go to glfw which is one of the the main libraries you'll use it's got instructions for mac users but it's still a lot of stuff that you don't really need to do uh, and you probably won't do if you're using homebrew like most people so i'm just going to cover the easier way to do it so first thing we'll do is open a terminal and then just brew install glfw and this will generalize to any kind of uh, native libraries that you're installing with homebrew not just glfw so while this installs i'll open up a new xcode project and we're just going to create a new project and it's a little bit weird since opengl is definitely not a command line tool like we're going to make something graphics related but we need to pick command line tool because if we pick app and then go to next, the only options we have are to use Swift or Objective-C, but we want uh, C++. So we need C++ in this case. So I'm just going to call this product name HelloGL because I'm just going to make, uh, oops, not Swift, not Swift, C++, because we're just going to make uh, a, a blank window come up that says hello world, and that's it. So first thing I'll do is... I'm going to paste in just this minimal hello world of OpenGL code that I've set up. It's only 34 lines. I'll walk through it in a minute. But notice that as soon as Xcode you know, has a chance to look at it, I've got a ton of errors. I can't find GLFW, which we did just install. So the way to get around this is we need to go to uh, the project itself, which we can see over here on the sidebar, and go to build settings. And what we want to do is search for search. Funny as that sounds. And we see uh, we've got search paths, and we've got header search paths and library search paths. Normally, what we would have for uh, you know default place to look would be uh, user local... Uh, user local include for the header search path. And we do want to add that. But anything in Homebrew is going to be under user local seller and then the name of the thing that we just installed. So in this case, it's glfw is the name of the library and dot dot slash include to get it uh, to get the uh, libraries we need. And then we do almost the same thing on library search paths, except instead of user user local include, it's going to be user local lib. We got to spell it correctly too. Uh, then for the seller one, it's going to be user local seller capital C, and then the name of the, of our library, so glfw slash dot dot slash lib. Save both of those. And now we have a way of searching for the libraries we need. We're not done yet though. We need to go to build phases and then click link with binary and we can just search for GL. These are shipped by Apple. Um, GLUT, GLUT framework, you're very likely to use. You're also very likely to use GLKit. Right now, for this simple hello world, all we need is an OpenGL that framework. So I'll add that. And then we need to get the dynamic library that we installed successfully with Homebrew. And the way we do that is we hit, uh, we add other library, add files. Then we've got this finder. However, this, this is not the easiest thing to navigate. We'll hit Command Shift G which brings up go to folder. We want to go to user, local, seller, glfw. 
and go. Now we can click into it. So this is the version of the library and then go into lib and then lib glfw 3.3 dynamic library. Open that and now Xcode should be able to see everything in our project and all those red squigglies should go away. I'll just save the file, see if that updates it. And that really should be it. Let me try actually building it. Yes, all right. So build succeeded and we should open a 1024 by 768 window that says hello world. Maybe it's compiling a bit slowly because I'm streaming. All right, so here's our hello world. It's not that exciting, but it is a working project and we have a way to, uh, to add any libraries that are in uh, Homebrew. So just really quickly to go over what this does. Um, I added this line to silence all the OpenGL deprecations in Xcode. If you don't have this, then uh, building the project will generate many, many, many complaints about deprecated items. Um, so I'll add that back in. This includes a library. Uh, this is uh, just one of the defines we need for OpenGL. Basically, what we do here is we uh, we initialize or we we declare a window variable, and if we can't initialize it, then we return negative one, which just bails out of the program with an error. Uh, we need to add this uh, if def block for Apple. Basically, it needs to know which version of OpenGL we're using. So the major version is three, minor version is three, and uh, then we give it another hint saying that yes, it's forward compatible. And then their OpenGL profile is the OpenGL core profile. Then we create a window. If there is no window, then we terminate and return negative one as an error again. And then we make the current window. Uh, we set the window we just created to the current context. And while the window should not close, according to OpenGL. We clear the buffer, and we swap the buffer, and we pull for events. And then once it should close, which which OpenGL will get when we click the close button or you know send a command that should close it, um, this while loop will be over. And then we terminate and return zero because it was not an error. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you're looking to learn more, uh, particularly if you're looking to more learn more Elixir, then you should subscribe and I'll see you next time.